What's inside this bag is not available in stores just yet. You got it already? <laughs> yes, you I did. Got it already? I'm not supposed to show you. Can I take a look though? Oh my god. I need this. <laughs> Look what I got! I just went shopping at the Apple store. Just kidding, what's inside this bag is not available in stores just yet. But because I like you and you're cool, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the interesting people I get to meet along the way. So if you like surprises and love iPhones, then give this channel a like and subscribe. And I'll show you what's in my bag. Today, we're unboxing the new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max. Okay, so I've made it back to my hotel and all day I've been worried about where I could safely unbox the iPhones without anybody seeing. Luckily, the uh, patio or the outdoor part of my hotel's uh, restaurant is closed for another 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is show you what's inside my bag, unbox one iPhone, and then I need to hop on a plane and then we can finish the rest of the unboxing in my studio. Okay, so inside my box, I have all four iPhones, and I also have some cases. I have a fine woven wallet with MagSafe, and then in the mail right now are a new adapter, a new cable that's coming on Friday, so by the time this video airs, we'll be able to show you everything. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited because this is the color that I wanted. It is natural titanium. Moment of truth. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Let me show you. Look at that. It looks so beautiful. It even matches this fire pit that we're unboxing on. Let's peel this off, guys. In person, this natural finish is like a light gray, but then it actually matches exactly the phone's titanium frame. Okay, let's set it aside. Designed by Apple in California packet, and inside, a note on a eSIM setup, some warranty information, and one Apple sticker. And last but not least, for the first time ever on an iPhone, a USB-C to USB-C cable. Also new is the fact that this cable is braided. So it's not that smooth white cable, but it has some texture to it. It's so beautiful out, but we have a plane to catch. So we'll resume this video in my studio. Back in the studio and I wish traveling home was as easy as a snap. Snap. Feeling a little bit tired and uh, not very attractive today. So I have a hat on and uh, just some regular clothes. But the star of the show is right in front of me. As you can see, I have the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, 15 and 15 Plus, all of which uh, we are going to unbox actually. We've already finished unboxing this guy. So we'll start maybe with the uh, 15 Pro and then move on to the regular 15 series. Even if it's more lighter and durable thanks to its new titanium frame, you still may want protection for your new iPhone 15 Pro Max. And one of the cases I recommend this year is Taurus's Upro Ostand SS. I've been using Taurus cases for a while now and I love this updated design where the case color matches the zinc alloy kickstand. It comes in gray, blue, and black. You can prop it up horizontally when you're watching videos or vertically for FaceTime calls. I also like that it doubles as a ring holder, which makes taking selfies more secure. But like I said earlier, I recommend a case for protection, the pull-out kickstand, 
is just a bonus. The UPRO Ostand SS has patented air cushion technology, which was actually inspired by shoes with air cushions. These air cushions absorb up to 98% of the shock in case you drop your phone. There are also raised edges around the camera module and the screen, which makes this Taurus's most protective case to date. The air cushions also feel comfortable in the hands, the case isn't bulky, and the back is velvety. If you're buying the new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, or 15 Pro Max, I suggest picking up one of these cases. They retail for $49.99, and as always, I'll put a link in the description box below. Now back to our unboxing. Let's start with the Pro models. So on the Pro series, the boxes have a different wallpaper. It's almost like a sandstorm with little specks of dust and the color of the wallpaper matches the color of the phone that you're unboxing. So it's pretty clear we're unboxing the blue titanium iPhone 15 Pro. Let's start. Lift up. There it is, the blue iPhone 15 Pro. What do you guys think? You've already seen this part, but out of curiosity, let's take a look at what color sticker we get. <laughs> Still white, so if you're curious, stickers aren't color matched to the iPhone that you get. Neither are the USB-C cables which all come in white, but this time around, they are USB-C to USB-C, and they're also braided. Now, because blue is my favorite color, I pride myself in having every blue iPhone that Apple has ever made, so let's do a blue iPhone Pro Series comparison. Here's what titanium blue looks like. And here is the Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro Max from way back, I'd like to say 2020. Meanwhile, this is the last blue iPhone Pro model that Apple shipped, the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max. These guys are very similar. In fact, in my first impressions video, I said that this reminds me of this, but now that I see them in the hands, titanium blue is darker, closer to midnight, while Pacific blue has some shades of green, reminiscent of the ocean. This guy obviously is completely different and it resembling more of the sky. I know Apple doesn't do a lot of rich colors for their Pro series, making them more sophisticated and grown up, but I'd still like to see a darker but richer royal blue sometime in the future. Next up is another blue iPhone. This is the blue iPhone 15. Before we rip off the tape, let's take a look at how the boxes differ. While they all are both white boxes, the iPhone 15 series will have bubbles on them. iPhone 15, let's go. Immediately, the first word that comes to mind is frosty, not just because of the matte frosted finish, but this really evokes winter, icy, fire. almost like the movie Frozen. The aluminum band is a very light shade of blue. Nothing new to see here, so let's do some more color comparisons. Here are the last three blue iPhones, the iPhone 13, 14, and 15. It seems that every year the colors are getting lighter. And this is my pride and joy. Every single blue iPhone that Apple has ever released. This is the blue iPhone 10R, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, 14, and 15. iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro. So far, my favorite has been the blue iPhone 12. In terms of the iPhone Pro series, I guess this new model is my current favorite, although I'd still like something richer like this. Last but not least, let's unbox the pink iPhone 15 Plus. Again, notice the pink wallpaper. This is the larger of the two iPhones. 
This year, Apple decided to go pastel in terms of the color choices for the iPhone 15 lineup instead of the rich, vibrant colors that we've seen in the past. I kind of like it, but I don't know if it's for everyone. I think the consensus is, at least in our YouTubers React video, is for Apple to produce even more vibrant colors that represent the rainbow, similar to what they've done in previous models of the iPod Nano. Personally, I think those colors are going to be a big hit. But I also like these soft finishes. Of course, if pastel is not your cup of tea, Apple also makes a black model. Now, this isn't necessarily out of field for Apple. They've done pastel in the past. The most recent iMac, for example, comes to mind. While the back part is a rich, dark color, the front part is light and pastel. Okay guys, we're gonna keep this video short. I have a lot of more videos to work on. You should also check out our iPhone 15 Pro Max video, which also launched today. You can click up here or follow the links down below. Tomorrow and over the next few days, we have a lot more iPhone content coming your way, including our review of the iPhone 15 series. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you get notified as soon as we publish new videos. Follow me on social media, follow the behind the scenes fun stuff, and for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.